Welcome to Devlash Wellness. Today is a 60-minute vinyasa flow class. We're going to focus on some back bends and twisting, just bringing the body into alignment and opening the heart. Set up nice and tall, close the eyes down, and just take a moment to arrive and land on your mat. Start to deepen the breath, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. We can attach a soft whisper to the back of the throat. Ujjayi breath. This is called the victorious breath as it heats the body from the inside out. Keeping the left hand down on the thigh, bring the right hand up alongside the face. Welcome if you've just joined. Take your peace fingers, bending them down. Thumb over the right nostril, ring finger over the left. Inhale through both nostrils. Close off the right nostril, exhale left. Inhale left. Pause and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Close off the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Pause and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Pause and switch, exhale left. Inhale left. Pause and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Close off the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Pause and switch, exhale right. Inhale right. Pause and switch, exhale left. One more full cycle, inhale left. Pause and switch. Inhale right. Pause and switch. Keeping eyes closed, hands at heart center, bowing chin to chest. If you'd like to bring an intention to this practice or maybe something for the weekend ahead. If you don't know what to ask for, begin with asking that your body is open and your mind is clear. And you can add anything to that. Keeping the eyes closed, we're going to just Move and lie all the way down on our back, but keep this nice inward turn, lying all the way down. Keep the knees bent. Take the feet as wide as the mat. Drop the knees in and bring your hands so they're resting on the lower belly. And just connect to the breath, inhaling to the top. Exhaling here. Three more cycles of breath, just like this. Just feel the body filling up with life, prana, your energy. And then a slow, long release of the exhale. Keep the lips closed. Two more cycles of breath, just like this. Last one here. Walk the feet together to touch and let the knees fall open. Supta Baddha Konasana. Hook the thumbs together so you're creating a butterfly shape in the hands and then lift the arms up and over. Good. Snuggle the biceps into the ears. Inhale here. Press soles of the feet and the big toes together and then draw your front ribs down so you're finding that connection through the lower back. Good. One more cycle of breath. And then change the hook of the thumb so the upper thumb is on top. Breathing in through the fingers, down the arms to the hips. Exhaling out through the legs, out through the feet. And inhale, bringing the arms up. Bending the elbows into robot arms, draw the knees together, step the feet hips distance apart. Good. We're just going to connect to the breath 
So we're lifting up into bridge pose. Think of this like cat cow. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower. Good, four more just like this. Inhale, hips lift. Heart lifts. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Press through the big toes. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Press through the backs of the arms. Exhale, lower. Try not to turn the head to the left or the right. Just look straight up. Inhale, lift up. Stay up. You can keep the arms in robot arms. Walk the elbows in. You can grab the edges of your mat. Or you can clasp the hands together. And roll and walk the shoulders in. And then just lift up. Five cycles of breath. Just feel the heart space open. Hips are opening. You're stretching your whole front body. Inhaling here. And just notice how this pose feels right at the beginning of class. We normally don't come into this pose until um, well into the second half. The back bends. So if you notice how it feels now. It probably feels a little sticky. Hips are tight. And when you're ready, lower all the way down. You grab the edges of the mat. Good. Inhale. Draw both knees into the chest. And grab your hands onto the shins. And then lift your nose all the way up to the knees. Squeeze in the knees. And then the sacrum lifts up. And then lift your shoulders up. Reach both arms up. Five cycles of breath. It's kind of that feeling like you're looking up. Like you'd love someone to grab your hands and pull you up. But you're drawing the knees to the nose and touch the knees to the nose. Good. One more cycle of breath here. And both hands to the right knee. Extend the left leg straight. And now lift. Nose to knees. Lift up. Notice how this pose feels lying on your back. Because we do it later. Standing on our hands when we're in plank pose or down dog. Nose to knee. That's it. So it's that compression pose. It's a lot of core work. Now lift both arms up. Five cycles of breath, inhaling here, exhaling here. Two more cycles of breath, point through that left toe, lift up, there's a lot of work. And then swap sides, draw the left knee in, right leg extends, point the toe, now inhale, lift, exhale, stay here. Squeeze the elbows in, lift the back ribs, and squeezing the muscles to the bone, that's it. One more cycle of breath. Then we're going to take both arms up and lift up. Five cycles of breath here. You can start wriggling the fingers, circling the wrists, shaking the hands. Good. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale. And lower down. Exhale. Good. Take a twist. Right knee in. Here's our first twist. Feels really good. Roll the right shoulder down. Spread the fingers of your right hand. And press down through the knuckles. Point through the left toe. That's it. And one more cycle of breath. Swap sides. Lift knee in. Right leg straight. Just neutralizing the spine. Look back to the left. Or look straight up. How does it feel? How does your neck feel? If there's tightness in the neck, maybe just look straight up. Find um, keeping the neck straight. Good. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale, come back to center. Both hands on the back of the thighs. And rock and roll forwards and back. Exhale, lift. Three more. Inhale, exhale, lift. Last one. And we're going to hold it up in Navasana and then pause. That's it. Both hands to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale there. That's it. Kind of feels like you're rowing. That's a nice little amount of core stability going on. Keep the knees bent, knees towards the chest. That's it. Five more. Each side. That's one. Two. Two more. Each side. Last one here. Good. And then rock forward. Step back into plank. Good. Inhale. Draw your right knee to the nose. Stay right there. Lift up. Touch the knee to the nose or thereabouts. Don't worry if you can't touch the knee to the nose. That's it. And then swap sides. Left knee to nose. Shift the weight forward. 
knee to nose. See if you can touch, lift. Look to the back heel, lift the heel higher. Gripping in the fingertips, inhale here. Exhale here, keep the kicking the heel to the buttock. Step it back, lower all the way down to the floor. You can drop the knees here. Good, sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders, lift up. This feels nice. Stretching the front belly, the ribs, lifting the heart. And here's a back bend right here. That's it. Walk the feet together. Notice how the feet want to splay. Point toes, spread the toes, get the all 10 toenails onto the floor. Inhaling here, exhaling here. Press down through forefinger, thumb, lift up. This doesn't feel good, stay right where you were. Same pose, just a, another level. One pose is not better than the other. It's just meeting yourself where you were at this morning. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Good, lower all the way down. Take your left hand towards the right, bend your right knee, windmill the arm back, catch the foot, and then draw the heel to the buttock. So this is stretching your quad, the front thigh. Some of you might be able to spin the fingers facing forward, and then look forward. Find sphinx pose. Notice that tendency to drop the chest and lift up. Some of you can stay right here. This feels plenty. Some of you can lift the forearm up, three cycles of breath. So there's lots of different levels and options really, layers. So you choose what feels good for you today, leave what you don't want, skip vinyasas, take child's pose, that's it, and lower down. Other side, so crossing the right hand to the left, bending the left knee, windmilling the right arm back, oh, sorry, the left arm back, press the heel to the buttock. Inhale here, notice the tendency to drop and lift up. Press the pubic bone and the hips down. Some of you are keeping the elbow down. Some of you are lifting up. Three cycles of breath. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. So it's nine o'clock, so it's, you know, the body needs to warm up. We need to be kind to it, so don't push too much. Take the struggle out of poses. Lower down. Good. Lift up and back. Child's pose. So come up and back. Stretching the lower back. This feels really good. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. Forehead to the floor. And then just massage the forehead, just ironing out the creases of the week. And ask yourself the question, how do you feel? Listen to your body. Inhale, lift up, cat pose. That's it, lift all the way up. Exhale, lower down, chin, chest. See, the booty stays up, slide through, low cobra. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, cat. Exhale, child's pose. Three more, just like this. Inhale, cat, keep cat. Lower down, chin, chest, slide through, low cobra. Inhale, lift, squeeze your elbows in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cat. Exhale, child. Good, inhale, lift. Cat pose, lower down, chin, chest, like through, low cobra. Last round, inhale. Inhale, cat. Exhale, child. Inhale, cat. Slide through, low cobra. Inhale, here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cat, exhale, down dog, up and back, downward facing dog. So that's it, pedal through the feet, stretching, pedaling, ironing out creases in your calf muscles, your hamstrings. Connect to the breath, maybe even put a little wag in the tail by swinging the hips. And one more cycle of breath. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. Good. Inhale, tip high on the tippy toes and just tiptoe your feet all the way up. Some of you might want to lift up onto cupcake fingers. And then drop the heels down. Good. Inhale, hands on your shins, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Two more like this. Inhale, this is stretching hamstrings, hips. Exhale, forward fold. And pause here. Hands on sacrum. Arms up and over. Look all the way up to the thighs. Notice if you're sitting in the heels, bend the knees, drop the head, look all the way up. Squeezing out the hips in. And then imagine my hands holding your hands, lifting them up, and your shoulder heads lift. Keep pressing through the feet. One more cycle of breath here. And release both hands down to the floor. Step the left foot straight back, all the way back, and drop the knee to the floor. Good, low lunge. Inhale, lift both arms up. Put the thumbs together, inhale, lift, and now sink into that front thigh. Squeeze the outer hips. Notice when you squeeze in, the front body draws in. Inhale, lift. Activate the back foot, spread the toes, squeeze the biceps to the ears, and then lifting up and over. Lifting the chest, that's it. Inhaling here, exhaling here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to heart. Here's our twist. Inhale, hinge forward. And just a gentle twist. Keep the back knee down. Inhale, pressing the crown of the head away from the tailbone. That's it. Keep the back knee down. Maybe split the arms. Creating space. Spinning the chest, opening up. That's it, reach up. Think about this top hand, lifting these top ribs up. One more cycle of breath. Squeeze the outer hips in, lift the head, inhale. Exhale, both hands to the floor. Good. Tuck the back toe under, step back plank. Good, downward facing dog. Inhaling here, exhaling here. Inhale, come forward into plank. Lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, low cobra, point toes, lift up. Exhale, lower. Two more low cobras. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. So we're up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck toes. Press up, plank pose. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, high tippy toes. Bend knees and tiptoe feet all the way up. Inhale, exhale, forward fold and bow. Step the left foot straight, uh, sorry, the right foot straight back. Low lunge. Release the toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Good. Squeeze the palms together. Imagine you've got a block between the palms. Squeeze the outer hips. Inhale here. Exhale here, I'm hooking my thumbs together, lifting up, draw the ribs in, activate the back foot. Inhale here. Exhale, lift up and back, three cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose, lift up, look up. Notice where the breath stops. Inhaling here. Inhale, hinge forward, exhale. Take the twist to the left. That's it. Some of you are just going to split the arms. Others not so much. It's really early in the practice, early in the morning. Squeeze the outer hips in. Just neutralizing the spine, lengthening and strengthening. One more cycle of breath. And hands to the floor. Inhale, step back into plank. Five press-ups, yogi press-ups. You can have knees up or down. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. You've only got three more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Last one. And then lower all the way to the floor. Hands behind the head, point the toes. Good. Elbows wide. Inhale, lift the elbows. Point the right foot so much to the toe that you're lifting up a few inches and then the left to meet the right. Notice how the feet want to splay. Draw the feet in. Lift the chest. Five cycles of breath. We're reversing all that forward folding. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. Two more cycles of breath. Notice the resistance. 
What are you telling yourself? What's coming up? Lower all the way down. Press up, plank pose, down dog. If you need to, you can go to child's pose. Up and back, stretching the lower back. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale, float the right leg straight back. Turn the foot to the right and then just lift it up and over. This is a delicious hip opener. Stay here, look towards your left foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Bring the right knee to your left elbow. There's your twist. Good. Inhale, lift. Cross it to the left. Inhale, lift. Back to the left and hold. Knee to nose round. Hold it here. Three cycles of breath. Shift the weight. Kick the heel to the buttock. Find a gripping in the fingertips. Press the crown of the head forward. Step it through. Good. High lunge. Bend and back knee. Inhale, lift. Bend the elbows, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep the nerve ribs drawing in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one here. Lower, bend, and then turn to the right. Pause here. You can keep the arms bent, arms straight. Straighten the back leg, reach through the back arm. Good, three cycles of breath, inhaling here. Sink into the front thigh, and then look to the back hand, reach through the back fingertips. One more cycle of breath, hand to sac sacrum, inhale, lift, exhale, sink. Lift the top left hand all the way up. Pressing your sacrum down. One more cycle of breath. One more hands to floor. Float the right leg straight back, three-legged down dog, three-legged plank, Ardha Chaturanga, up and back, downward facing dog, three cycles of breath here. I'm just going to spin around to the other side, inhale, float the left leg straight back, put a bend, don't put a bend in the knee, turn the left foot to the left. And then open up, stay here. That's it. Some of you might want to lift high on those right fingertips, but look to the right heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Good. Left knee, right elbow twist. Good. Three legged dog. Inhale. Cross it to the left. Right. Exhale. That's it, hold to the right, knee to nose, hold it up, three cycles of breath. Knee to nose, remember how it felt lying on your back? Here it is, kick the heel to the buttock, and when you're ready, step it through. High lunge, juicy bend into the back knee, inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Squeeze the buttocks. Last one here. Bend. And now turn to the left. Pause. Maybe your arms are going to stay bent. Maybe extend. Inhale here. I'm walking the back leg straight. Sink into the front thigh. Look to the back hand. Notice where the eyes want to dance. You want to find a single point of focus. That's it. The drifty. Top arm up. Exhale, sink. Here's your back bend. Inhale, lift up. One more cycle of breath. One more hands to floor. Float the left leg all the way back. Three legged down dog. Three legged plank. Ardha Chaturanga. Up and back. Downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath here. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale, float the right leg straight back. Right knee, left, right elbow, glide forward. Inhale, float it up. Right knee, left elbow. Then you should twist. Come back to the left elbow. Pause and hold. Inhale, extend the 
Right leg out, drop the back heel. Inhale, lift. Option one. Option two. Option three. Option four. Three cycles of breath wherever you are. One is not better than the other. Just playing and seeing where your edge is. Press down, lift the bottom hip up. One more cycle of breath. Release the foot if it's, you're holding it. Step it through the warrior one. Back heel down, both arms up, inhale. Put the thumbs and then exhale, release. And then stand into the back heel to lift all the way up. One more cycle of breath here. Hands at heart. Inhale, we're gonna hinge forward. That's it. Warrior three, lift the back heel. I'm just gonna shuffle back. Lift the back heel and then lift all the way up. Good, arms can go to the hands to the floor. Hands at prayer or hands straight back. Lift the shoulder heads up. Draw the ribs in. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. Good. One more cycle of breath. Bend the knee and then knee to knee, lift all the way up. Good, pause and hold. Grab your hands around the shin, nose to knee, lift the chin, uh, draw the knee to the chest, nose to knee. Find the shape that we made, lying on our back in plank pose. One more cycle of breath. Inhaling here. And exhaling here. Good, standing splits, both thumbs up. Hinge forward. Three cycles of breath, hands to the floor. You can bend this knee high on the fingertips and now lift the right heel up. Two more cycles of breath. Inhaling here, exhaling here. Last one. And step the feet together. Inhale, half lift. Plant the hands, step back, plank. Vinyasa, or do you want to go straight to down dog? You choose. Roll over toes, up and back. Downward facing dog, three cycles of breath. Stay wherever you are. Should have a nice amount of heat in the body now. How are you feeling, Colin? Float the left leg straight back, inhale. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Inhale, float it up. Cross it over to the right. Listen carefully, we're coming back to the right elbow and then extending the left leg out. Drop the back heel, press down, inhale, lift. Option one, squeeze and lift the knee and the thigh. Option two, maybe you're going to stay here, grab the foot, lift up. I'm grabbing the outside of the foot, three cycles of breath. And now press down, lift the bottom hip up, inhaling here, exhaling here. Good, two more cycles of breath. Notice that the body's shaking. This is the muscles engaged. It's just as good. Good, release the hand to the floor. Warrior one, back heel down. Inhale, both arms up. Hook the thumbs the abnormal way and then sink into warrior one. I'm walking my left foot to the left. Inhaling here. Exhaling here, snuggle the ears into the biceps. Draw the ribs in as you stand into the back thigh. That's it, warrior three. First, we're gonna hinge forward into the lunge. Hinge forward, lift the back heel, float that back leg up. Option one, hands to floor. Option two, hands to prayer. Option three, that's it. Draw the ribs in. I often put my hands there to lift the ribs up. Lift the shoulder heads. Two more cycles of breath, activate the back heel, lifted leg, bend the knee, inhale, lift all the way up. Grab the shin, inhale, lift. Exhale, nose to knee, single point of focus, three cycles of breath. That's it, how's your balance? Keep a bend into the standing knee, but squeeze the other hips. One more cycle of breath, inhale, both arms up. Standing splits. Hands to the floor, that's it. Inhale, look to the left, to the left foot. 
Lift up, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one here, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, set the feet together. Both heels high, knees to the side. Feels like Malasana Yogi Squat, but feet, you can take the feet as wide as the mat, but we're taking the knees wide, walk the hands forward. Your heels are pressing in towards each other, and then you're trying over time to get the heels to the floor. I'm not there yet, but it's that action of pressing down to lift that ribs, inhaling through the nose, Exhaling through the nose. Two more cycles of breath wherever you are. And when you're ready, we're going to walk the hands back. Bakasana, knees into the armpits. If you don't want to take Bakasana, you can take a child's pose, you can take a vinyasa, or you can just sit and wait. <laughs> Whatever feels good. Bakasana, heels to buttocks. Rounding, stretching wrists, look down to the thumbs. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Some of us are going to float back, shoot back, roll over the toes, up and back, downward facing dog. Good, just stay here in down dog. Inhale, we're going to lower both elbows to the floor. Notice if you can. See if you can come down with both elbows at the same time or is it one at a time? Lower down. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good, bring the elbows down. Clasp the hands together, walk the feet in. Five cycles of breath here, pressing down to lift up. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Roll in the thighs. Make sure the head is heavy. Gravity is your best friend. The neck is long. One more cycle of breath. And when you're ready, come into forearm plank. Pause here. I'm going to drop both heels over to the left. Inhale. Keep both elbows down with the bottom hip. Good, inhale, peel the top arm up, forearm side plank, forearm vashistasana, arm up and over. Good, inhale here, step the feet together, stack the feet. So stay here, inhale, this is an option. Elbow to knee, exhale, inhale, elbow to knee. Three more. Notice if you're rolling back, you gotta keep that top hip rolling forward. Last one, and then other side. Forearm plank, pause for a moment, reset the feet. Feet are hips distance, you're gonna get my back, shift the weight. Heels to the side, good, stack the feet. Keep both elbows pressing, inhaling here. Soften the grip in the fingers, and now peel and lift up. Arm up and over. Inhaling here. You can stay right here, otherwise elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Elbow to knee. Three more. Last one. And then hands to the floor. Lower all the way down. Sphinx pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale here. Press down through four finger thumb, lift up. We were right here at the beginning. Just notice and observing how it feels in the body now. Two more cycles of breath. Option to bend the knees. Inhale here, walk the hands back. Inhale, lift. It's called seal pose. Four, drawing the head back towards the feet. Don't worry about how it looks. We've all seen people on Instagram touching their feet to the Head to their feet, but just notice how it feels. Listen to your body. Pressing through forefinger thumb, close eyes. Exhale, lower down. Good, reach the right arm forward. And then the left arm forward. 
And inhale, float the right leg up. Exhale, take the left leg up. Press the pubis bone and the hips down. Inhale, lift the hands. Three cycles of breath. Keep reaching. It feels like you're a rubber band, lengthening from your hands and the crown of the head to the feet and the toes. One more cycle of breath. Exhale, lower down. Bend the right knee. Windmill the arm back. Pause here. Take the outside, grab the ankle if you can, if not the foot. Walk the knees back in. Inhale, kick and lift the right knee. Float the hand up. Inhale, lift. Exhale here. Keep pressing the pubis bone and the hip down. Notice the resistance. Squeeze the outer knees in. One more cycle of breath. Lowering all the way down. Good swap sides. Right arm forward. Bend the left knee. Reach for the left ankle. Half Salambhasana, half Danyarasana. Good. Inhale, lift the hand. Kick the left knee and the foot into the hand and lift up. Three cycles of breath. Straight in the back of the neck, dissolving any wrinkles. One more cycle of breath here. And when you're lower, when you're ready, lower all the way down. Good. Just take a pause. Forehead to the hands. Just stack the hands, forehead down, windshield wipe of the legs. Connect to the breath and then pause. Danyarasana. Walk the right hand back and then the left. Good. Walk the knees back in towards each other. Forehead to the floor. Soften the shoulders. Kick the feet into the hands and now press the pubis bone and the hips down. Lift the knees and the thighs up. Good. Now, if you have chest, five cycles of breath, squeeze the outer ankles in towards each other. You might have a little rocking sensation here if you can use the breath. Inhaling here and exhaling here. One more cycle. Keep kicking the heels back, lowering all the way down. Release windshield wipe of the legs. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. So we've got an option. So we're going to do the same pose again. The option is to turn and roll and open the shoulders. So reach the hands back, walk the knees back together, inhale, press the pubis bone and the hips down, lift all the way up. That's a lengthen the crown of the head forward, look down. Good, we're going to roll. I'm going to roll to my left. Inhale, stay right here. Keep pressing the pubis bone and the hips forward, kicking the feet into the hands, rolling onto those shoulders. That's it, how's the breath? Soften the jaw. Inhale, roll back to center. Exhale here. Inhale, roll into the right. So you've got my back. That's it, kick feet into hands. Two more cycles of breath, wherever you are. And when you're ready, roll all the way back. Good, inhale here, exhale, release. Hands under the forehead, releasing the hips. Inhale, I'm gonna bring the hands underneath and lift up and back. Take a child pose in between. And then we're going to lift up for more back bends. And you're going to walk around today with a big open heart. It's going to feel like a lot of buoyancy and lift. It's wonderful if you've been feeling a little lethargic, even a little depressed or sad. And when you're ready, you're going to walk your hands all the way back towards the knees and then sit on the knees. Good. Inhale. We're going to stand on our knees and bring our, our hands to our sacrum. Fingers are facing down. Squeeze the elbows in. And then imagine there's a wall in front of you and you're pressing 
your pubis bone and the hips forward. It's the same shape you made when you were lying on your belly just a moment ago, but now you're standing on your knees. Good, squeeze the elbows in, press the hips and the thighs forward, look down at your chest. Good, inhale here, and then exhale. Hands are pressing down, look down towards the chest, and you're lifting your heart, feels like the armpits are hollow. That's it. Drop the right hand down. Maybe you're going to tuck the toe under. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, roll your chin towards the left armpit. Inhale here. Maybe tuck your left toe under here. And then swap sides. Drop the left hand down. Right arm up. Press the hips forward. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. Inhale. Lifting all the way up and just take a seat onto the heels, palms facing up. Just receive the pose. Good. We're going to take Ustrasana camel pose again with the option of dropping both hands back. Remember, you don't have to drop any arms back if that's not part of your practice. And you can take this pose to the wall. You can even put blocks either sides of the ankles or a pillow so you haven't got so far to drop back. Okay, tuck the toes under, set the pose up, press the hips and the pubis bone forward, squeeze the elbows together like you want them to touch. Look down towards the chest, inhale here. Exhale, drop the hands to the heels. Now press the hips, lift and puff the chest up. Some of us are going to drop the head back. This is tapping into the thyroid gland, it activates it. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, lion's breath. Two more. Last one, removing any toxins. Stale energy. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Exhale, release. Good, pause right here. Palms facing up to feel in a position of receiving or palms facing down. Just close the eyes. Notice the energy shifting and moving. This pose can bring up a lot of emotions. And back then sometimes can make you feel very emotional. So if there's anything that's been trapped or there's any trauma, um, you could feel emotional after today's practice. Just know that that is the yoga working. Good, inhale, drop the hips to the side and swing your legs out in front. Good, pause here, bend the knees. I'm just shuffling my sit bones towards the heels. We're going to start with the fingers, hands, fanning out to the side. Notice how the shoulders want to roll in. Roll and lift the shoulders, lift the chest, roll them back. So there's a nice little smile in your collarbone. Good. Press through the feet. Reverse tabletop. Inhale, lift. We're going to stay up here. Five cycles of breath. Again, look to the chest, the belly, the hips of thighs. Press down through the big toes. And the forefinger bone. Breathing into the heart space. Pressing down through the feet, lift up. One more cycle of breath. And exhale, lower. Okay, so you've got the option to take the same pose again, but maybe this time try it with the fingers facing towards the buttocks and the feet. For those who want to take the full expression, Purvotanasana. You're going to extend the right foot straight. And the idea is that we want to get the big toe to the floor. So I like to just lift up and find that connection right there. And now take the left foot to move the right. Five cycle breath. You can stay looking forward or again activating that thyroid gland. Stay here. Five cycles of breath. Roll the inner thighs down. Keep pressing through forefinger thumb. Press through toes and heels to lift hips. And exhale, lower down. Let's cross the legs. Take a forward fold and bow. Notice which leg is in front. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bowing chin to chest. Lifting up through back ribs. Tiptoeing fingers forward. Two more cycles of breath here. And when you're ready, walk the hands back. Are you ready for one more 
back bend. Yes. Well, we've actually got a few more back bends. Bring the feet out. Good. Extend the right foot forward, big toe down. Inhale, lift. If you want to skip this, you can rock here. Five cycles of breath. This is a challenging pose. Just really feel the pressing down through the hands and the feet to lift the hips and the chest. Big breath in, lion's breath out. And release down. How did that go? <laughs> Change the cross of the leg. So my abnormal leg in front is the right leg in front. So just take a moment to observe which one it is for you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold and bow. Stay right here, chin to chest. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Just feel the energy surging through the body with the back bends. And when you're ready, walk the hands back. And we're going to lower all the way down. Let's bring your feet out. Shuffle the heels to the buttock. Lowering yourself all the way down. Good. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale here. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, lower. Robot arms, exhale. Walk the feet back. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, grab the mat. Robot arms or roll the shoulders under. Walk the feet together. Inhale, lift the right. For our knee in line with the left knee. This is just an option. You could stay with both feet down. Two more cycles of breath. Lift up. And we will release all sides. Press down. Knee to knee. The leg is not straight up. That's it. Squeezing the outer knees in. Two more cycles of breath. Inhaling here, feet together, exhale lower. You can stay right here. If you're not wanting any more back bends, take Supta Baddha Konasana. Or you can come into single pigeon. For the rest of us, let's flex the hands, circle the wrist, open and close the fingers. Good. And if over Danyarasana you find challenging, um, just go as far as you can. Okay, the more we practice this pose, the better it starts to feel in the body. That's it. It's a big pose. So go easy on yourself. Practicing non-attachment, no non-judgment. Squeeze the elbows in and now press these front ribs down and notice how the pelvis lifts up. Good. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale here. Then maybe this is the transition as we your work is. Inhale, lift. I like to reset the hands. Squeeze elbows in. Stay here. Five cycles of breath if you can. Some of you might want to walk the feet back. Come up onto tippy toes. Squeeze out and knees in. Inhaling here. Exhaling here. So this is our peak pose. One more cycle of breath. And chin to chest. Lowering all the way down. Good. Just shake out the wrists. That's it. One more cycle of breath. Lifting arms up and over the head. Take a full body stretch. Inhale here. Exhale. Knees to nose. That's it. Bring the arms in T-shape. Drop both knees over to the left. And then lift up. Over to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. 
So I'm getting the twist with a little bit of core, stay to the left, look to the right. So there's options in this twist. You can keep stay in the passive twist, or you can play with straightening the top leg out. Maybe you can catch it with your foot, swinging the left leg back, only to lift up to catch that foot. This is called a pretzel twist. Stay here, three cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose, try and roll that right shoulder down. And energetically, you're pressing this top hip away. Squeeze the thighs together. And you'll notice how that activates the legs. One more cycle of breath. And release the hand and the foot. Knees together. Inhale, lift. And then drop both knees over to the right. That's it, shuffle the hips. Good, some of you are staying right here, and quite rightly so. Some of you are extending, grabbing the foot. And then we kick that top foot back. Pretzel twist, that's it. Five cycles of breath. And ideally you can look back to the left, but if the neck doesn't feel so good, mine doesn't, I'm gonna look straight up. I've got a lot of tension in my left side of my body, down from my left heel all the way up to my neck. I'm gonna get some acupuncture this week. My acupuncturist has come back to work on Tuesday, so I really need some alignment. How does your body feel? Ask yourself the question. That's why we practice. It's a practice of checking in to see how we feel from the inside out. Inhale, draw the knees together. And then we're just gonna rock and roll forwards and backwards about five times. That's it. And then coming all the way up. And extend the legs straight. Dandasana, press the hands down. Notice how my shoulders roll forward, sit up, draw the ribs and flex the feet. Good, just stay here, three cycles of breath. You're pressing down to lift. You could lift your buttocks off the floor because you're pressing down that much. Good, one more cycle of breath and the thighs roll down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold and bow. If you need to bend the knees, snuggle the ribs on the thighs. That's it. Some of you might be able to catch the hands behind the feet, maybe elbows to the floor. But we're taking a physical forward fold, which allows an inward turn. Pressing the crown of the head towards the big toe. Squeeze out our hips. Inhale, lift. Right knee, bend the right knee. This is our final twist. Grab the hands around the shin, knee to nose, touch, lift. Good, and now step the right foot over the left thigh. A lot of you are going to stay here because you want to Keep this leg extended so you can keep the right hip down. For those who are swinging the leg back, you now need to work to get the right hip, right sit bone all the way down. If it doesn't connect, keep the leg straight. Right hand behind the right sit bone. Notice that shoulder rolling forward. You can even put your hand there, roll it back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. So there's options here. You can take the hand down to meet the foot. Maybe you try that and you're like, oh, not a chance. Maybe you can. And then there's the bind. Inhale, lift. Snuggling the hand through the middle of the thigh. I often have to really help my hand get through. Inhale. And then exhale. The hands bind. Now lift. Press up through the crown of the head. Inhale here. Exhale, rotate. Keep trying to get that right sit bone down. Notice that tendency to rock into the left sit bone. Two more cycles of breath. Shavasana is near. Inhale, look back to centre. And release. Good. Extend both legs straight. Inhale, lift. Just one breath and forward fold. One breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, both hands under the left knee. Inhale, 
hands around the shin. Now we're taking this pose, nose to knee. Touch the nose to the knee, lift up. And then squeeze and lift the foot over, place it down. Flex your right foot. Maybe you're gonna swing the leg back. Get the left hip down. This is where the work is. You're gonna feel it in the right. You're gonna press that left hip down. Left hand behind the left sit bone, roll the left shoulder back. Inhale, lift. So when we lift the arm up, we're creating space in the side body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take the twist. I'm gonna come straight into the bind, snuggling the hand through. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Lift all the way up. Stay right here, press through the feet, lift through the crown of the head, inhale. Exhale, look back over the left. Three cycles of breath wherever you are. Lots of different layers. Squeeze your outer hips in. Press through the feet. Activate the feet so the legs are activated. We're just lifting up. We press down to inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. And release. Lowering all the way down. So again, snuggle the sit bones to the heels and rolling yourself all the way down. Pause. Walk the feet back. Super Baddhakanasana. You can bring your hands on the lower belly. And just receive the practice, just softening, surrendering. Really landing in this moment. Letting go of the breath and returning to normal shallow breathing. Maybe press through the feet and connect through the toes. You keep finding that connection to yourself. And lifting the arms up and over the head. Take a deep breath in and then extend the right leg straight and the left leg straight. Flex the feet. Inhale through the soles of the feet up the thighs. Open the mouth, exhale. Change the hook of the thumb or the hands. Inhale, breathing down through the arms to the hips. Exhale, out through the legs, out through the feet. And bring the arms down. Ready for the most important pose of all. Shavasana. And give yourself time and permission to just surrender, soften the body. Start with the eyes. Maybe squeeze the eyes in tight and then soften. Wriggle the jaw. Move the tongue and soften. Maybe the bottom lip drops so the jaw is heavy. Roll the shoulders under so there's that Subtle lift in the heart space. Now the arms feel heavy, like your arm bones are melting into the mat. Hips are heavy, legs are heavy. And the skin feels like liquid as you lengthen your tailbone down towards the heel. Take a moment to pause. I want you to think of three things that you're really good at, three things that you've noticed about yourself in the last week. And honour yourself. So often we give all our 
power away by looking and witnessing what everybody else is good at, and especially with social media, we have a tendency to do that. An attitude of gratitude is definitely the way to bring more into your life. And I know a few of you have got uh, gratitude journals that you've been sharing with me. Think of three or more things that you're extremely grateful for, just maybe in the last week. Three things that you've really noticed you've been grateful for. Yesterday was the new moon. So with the full moon, we let go. And with the new moon, we set intentions. So let's think of three things that we want to bring in for next week. Let's work for the near future. And it might be small things. Bringing in more patience or creating more time or getting to the mat more, whatever it is. Just think of three or more things that you want to bring into next week. Because the week has ended and the weekend is here. So it really does feel like a new beginning. Start to deepen the breath, landing back into your body. Lifting arms overhead, breathe in. And take the deepest breath and walk the feet together that you'll take for the rest of the day as though you're landing in your body for the very first time today. Deepest breath in. Sigh it out, exhale. Knees to chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, nose to knees. And roll to the side. Pause for just a moment. Just feel the feel snuggle into your fetal position. And keeping eyes closed, bringing yourself all the way up to a cross seated position. And just bowing chin to chest. Hands at heart center. And pressing thumbs to sternum, fanning fingers forward. Bowing, bowing to yourself, showing up, bowing to the practice and bowing to all the um, benefits that yoga brings us, both on and more importantly, off the mat. Taking prayer to third eye. And just feel that connection through the thumbs and the third eye. This is where your intuition your power lives, so connecting to the intuition, forward fold and bow, namaste.